Staying with the weather, Western Montana's weather kept our severe weather alert team busy working for you. From incredible sights to devastating impacts, meteorologist Mitchell Coombs is here to review the top Western Montana weather events of 2023. Western Montana has seen its fair share of impactful weather through the year. From its beauty to its destructive capabilities, we saw it all. Heavy snow, blizzard conditions, and even significant drought effects. Here are five of the most impactful Western Montana weather events of 2023. Starting off, March 24th through 27th saw a heavy weekend snow event which dumped one to two feet across the Gallatin Valley and areas to the east. Bozeman broke its daily snowfall record for March 25th as heavy snow buried the city, making travel difficult to nearly impossible. Icy conditions on Interstate 90 resulted in multiple accidents and significant travel delays. Some city infrastructure was compromised for a few days even after the event as plows tried to clear city streets from all of the snow. At Bobcat Stadium, 18 inches of snow covered the field, canceling the Bobcats practice on Saturday. On the afternoon of May 9th, a sight not often seen in western Montana snaked its way to the Mission Valley below. A rare landspout tornado touched down a few miles north of St. Ignatius. During its brief duration, the highly visible funnel could be seen all over the Mission Valley and as far away as Polson. Landspout tornadoes are often short-lived and weak, forming similar to water spouts. But this does not mean they cannot produce damage. Listen to this tornado as it tears the metal roofing off a farm outbuilding. This tornado was rated EF0. Throughout the summer, Flathead Lake dealt with low water levels initiated by weather-related issues during the winter and spring. Following a below-average winter snowpack across northwestern Montana, the mountain snowpack came down quickly during May and early June. Flathead Lake briefly reached full pool on June 13th, but after that, the lake's levels began to fall. By mid-July, the lake was one to two feet below full pool. This impacted summer recreation and local businesses felt the consequences of the low levels. A few closed early for the season as a result. This also led to questions about how much water was being released into the Flathead River, upstream at Hungry Horse Reservoir, and downstream at the Salish Kasanka Kalis Bay Dam. The lake finally returned to near average levels in late November. Western Montana's 2023 fire season ignited in late July and continued through October. It was a relatively average fire season for the region, which began slowly with only a few starts in the Bulls Creek and Colt fires. Conditions quickly changed July 29th through August 1st. A combination of very dry conditions, dry thunderstorms and strong winds sparked numerous fires across the Mission Valley and the mountains of northwest Montana. Many of these fires, including the Nirata, Middle Ridge and Communication Butte fires, went on to become the largest of the season. Additionally, a small quick moving blaze threatened homes off Mormon Creek Road in Lolo, engulfing one and severely damaging another. Mid-August saw the last major start of the year, the human-caused River Road East fire near Paradise. Damage to property around the community occurred, resulting in Montana Rail Link being sued over negligence to the fire's ignition. A little under 100,000 acres burned this season. The largest fire of the year was the Nirata fire, scorching 20,373 acres. The northern lights lit up western Montana skies on multiple occasions in 2023. Look at these incredible photos captured throughout the year. A few of the most impressive displays took place on the nights of March 24th, April 23rd, and September 18th. And it wasn't just us that saw them. A few Aurora events were visible as far south as Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. The reason we saw so many incredible displays this year is because the sun is currently nearing its solar maximum. This has resulted in an increase of strong solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. These CMEs help to produce the auroras as charged solar particles interact with Earth's atmosphere. We are likely to see even more events like we've seen in 2023 as the sun is forecast to reach its peak activity in this solar cycle next year. Montana is always surprising us with its wild and wonderful weather. What surprises might we see in 2024? Stay with the NBC Montana Severe Weather Alert Team and we will find out together. We are always working for you, keeping you informed of changing weather conditions so you can stay ahead of the storm. Reporting in studio, Mitchell Coombs, NBC Montana.